This video is for a 1997 Saturn SL1 TAT transmission valve body solenoid testing. That's with the valve body removed from the vehicle. You will need a multimeter for this testing. If you haven't already removed the cover, go ahead and do that now. Don't remove that bolt, whatever you do. And then it's highlighted by the arrow. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but remove all the screws except for the one that's in the arrow. Now this black thing is called a plus plate. It just pulls straight up. You might have to pry it a little bit. Don't want to force it too much. Now for this I used a digital multimeter. The digital multimeter is pretty much stupid proof. It's easy to read. And to me it's a little bit more accurate. You get better results from it. I set this multimeter on the 200 ohm scale. Don't worry about where positive and negative leads are going. It's about the same. It doesn't matter. You just want to apply it to both contacts. As you can see, this one's good. Normal, normal operations, 4.5 to 5 ohms. As you can see, this one's not within spec. It's not within 1 ohm of the other one. So this one is bad. Now we're going to test this one. This is just obvious. <laughs> that one's really bad. And that one's dead on the money. That one's good. And really bad. So, one thing you want to make sure you do, just to make sure, is you want to double check these. It's very important to do that because you might get a false reading. The longer you leave these leads connected, the longer you'll get an accurate reading. You can see the numbers changing. But we know number four is bad. We know number five is good, obviously, which happens to be fourth gear. Then we're doing three, which is the TCC, that's bad. And of course, second gear, which is number two, that one's bad. And number one, your line pressure, that one happens to be good. So now that we've double checked this and wrote down which ones are good and which ones are bad, we know which ones to replace. These are interchangeable. In other words, you can pull one off of another valve body and pop it into another one. They are the same. However, that changes depending on the year and the model. So you want to double check those numbers. Now to remove them, pull straight out just like I did. If they don't come out, just lightly use a uh, flat tip screwdriver and it should come right out. These are worth $60 to $70 a piece.